Hey everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics and welcome to our summer tub at the campground. I'm here with my granddaughter enjoying this 100 degree weather for four days in a row. And we are camping today. So today I thought I would set up a little water garden, a little summer tub while we're at the campground. Maybe breed some white clouds. Let's go take a look. So I picked up this little tub. This is like a, added some water hyacinths. I brought some plants from home and stopped at the local fish store and got some white clouds. Guess what I'm doing at the campground? Well, right now I'm just making sure that this summer tub thing is gonna hold water. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. So I got a little tiny air pump. Got one of these jobbers so it doesn't drain in case the pump dies. A little splitter with two air stones, but I'm going to be bringing a seeded sponge from home and one air, air stone. But for now, it's two air stones. Of course, I picked up a little dechlorinator. We keep going. So I got some substrate for the actual plant containers and some plant containers I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to keep the fish in that container. So no. This is going to be a super slow acclimation. So this is actually, it's a 50% pond water. 50% water that I got at the fish store down here at the campsite. Near the campsite. It's also got some palm plants floating on the top. So let's see what we got. We got some foxtails. Keeping Jenny. Oh, I have left to pot up. These are my white cloud minnows. So I'll probably have these inside this pickle jar. Was it a pickle jar? It's like a pretzel jar I use. I'll have them in there for the whole day today as well. So I took two of these, connected it onto one of these baskets. So that's gonna hold the iris. So normally I'd be adding newspapers around the inside of this so that the substrate doesn't fall all to the bottom not i don't mind substrate on the bottom but i want some substrate to stay in here because i'm trying to paper towel i'm not sure how good this is going to work but i'm improvising i'm improvising so i got some substrate that's rinsing hopefully okay we got some of these I'm going to, and they all have roots on them, which is awesome. And I'll probably add one or two in the middle. Let's see if I have more. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't want to get mixed up with the Creeping Jenny. This is Creeping Jenny. This is not, so. Then I'll put some pebbles on top to try to keep the substrate from just floating away. There we go. So now we're gonna hang that over the side. I'm gonna try it just using one S hook, but I might need two to stabilize it. If I need two, I'll just have to open a package. And then we'll put this in like that. Yeah, it's hanging over a lot, so I'll probably add another hook to it to stabilize it like that. Stay tuned for more. So now I got some water wisteria that's been grown immersed. I'm gonna to try to grow it submersed. Not sure how I'm gonna weight it down. I'll probably just put this right into some substrate with some rocks over it. Okay, 
one fish, two fish. I'm doing this for you. What kind of project is it without zip ties? So I'm weighting this down with rocks. I've threaded them through here in hopes that they will stay. Mm -hmm. Once they start rooting, they're not gonna go anywhere. And then I will bind them together. So now that the sun is going down, we're about to start catching lightning bugs. I'll cut off those little things and plant that submerged. I might have a little bit of dieback, but it's water wisteria. It should be very hardy. So the last challenge of this weekend is I have it plugged in here wire running through but if it starts to rain I got to figure out a way to keep the plug dry All right, so I got this connection inside this Tupperware I'm putting the Tupperware inside this basket and I'm gonna hang this basket and this basket also has next to the basket is the air pump Just trying to get it off the ground while I'm not here at the campground. I still have to work every day. So right here, and I hung it up on a little S hook. So now it's off the ground. So if it starts raining, there's no electric connection. And the airline is off the ground, and the airline is coming out of here. That's the best I could come up with until I can figure something out. If there's a better idea of how do people have electricity outside. Okay, so the airline's gonna run from here to here. And this is where the sponge filter and air filter are. And I'm just gonna put a chair here. Only because it's a very family friendly campground and if somebody kicked a ball and a kid came running over to get it I don't want them messing with the airline so I put that there in hopes that I have a day two days before I come back that the airline is still set up very excited about this thanks for watching and checking out our camp camping. our camping summer tub see you next time see you next time